It has been one week since the NFL draft has concluded all seven rounds, and today I will be ranking every team's draft on my opinion on how they did. So make sure you subscribe to the channel for more content, and just like that, we'll, let's get right into it. Ignore the grades that are on CBS Sports. This is just what I'm going to be using for my video today, so enjoy. We are going alphabetical order for this video, so we're going to start with the Arizona Cardinals, who had a very solid draft in my opinion. They started off by trading away their third overall pick to the Houston Texans. We got Will Anderson. We'll talk more about that when we get there. But they went to six to take Paris Johnson from Ohio State. Kyler Murray was interested in Paris, which is why he was taken before Peter Skaronsky. Other guys I liked included Garrett, Will Garrett Williams, Michael Wilson, B.J. Ojolari, and Clayton Toon, and Owen Popo. Overall, I give this grade an A-. minus. I really like what the Cardinals did here. Next, we have the Atlanta Falcons, who only had six picks, but made the most of their opportunities here. They took Bijan Robinson, which was probably the surprise of the first round. And then other guys they got later include Zach Harrison, Clark Phillips. Overall, I'll give them a B-. minus. It wasn't bad, but they didn't really do much with the six picks. Our first AFC team belongs to the Baltimore Ravens, who had a decent draft, I guess. Zay Flowers and Trenton Simpson were solid pickups. Also liked Andrew Voorhees getting him later on in the seventh round. I'd say this is a B minus, just like the Falcons. They they both had six picks and they both did all right with them. The Buffalo Bills also had six picks. Osiris Torrance and Dorian Williams on day two were probably their better picks. I wasn't a big fan of the Dalton Kincaid pick. Justin Shorter was a decent pick as well. Overall, I'll give him a C plus. If it wasn't for the Dalton Kincaid pick so early, I thought that this could have been a solid draft for the Buffalo Bills. The Carolina Panthers had five picks to work off of, but most of them really be the first overall pick, Bryce Young. Uh, they also took Jonathan Mingo, wide receiver from Ole Miss, and safety Jamie Robinson in the fifth round, which I thought was a steal. Overall, I give the Carolina Panthers an A-, minus, the first A of the video. The Chicago Bears had a lot of picks, as you can see here. Most notably, Darnell Wright from Tennessee, which I thought was a great pick. Javon Dexter, Zach Pickens, Noah Sewell, and Terrell Smith were underrated picks in my opinion. Overall, the Chicago Bears, I give them an A. I liked what they did here. Cincinnati Bengals had a decent draft. Miles Murphy started off defensive end from Clemson. Underrated picks include Jordan Battle and Andre Ayosivas. Overall, I give the Bengals a B. And his rival, the Cleveland Browns, are up next. They took Cedric Tillman with their first pick of the draft in the third round. And some underrated picks include Siaki Ika, Isaiah McGuire, Dorian Thompson Robinson, and Luke, Luke Whipler in the sixth round. I think the Cleveland Browns get an A. I like what they did here. Up next, we have the Dallas Cowboys, who took Mozzie Smith from Michigan with the first pick of their NFL draft. Other picks I like include Luke Schoonmaker and Deuce Vaughn. Other than that, I really wasn't a crazy fan of what they did for the most part, so I'm going to give them a C. It was okay, but it wasn't really impressive. The Denver Broncos only had five picks to use, but I actually really like what they did here. Marvin Mims was probably their best pick, but underrated pick would definitely be J.L. Skinner. But I like what the Broncos did here. I think this is another A. The Denver Broncos made only five picks worthwhile, so congratulations, Denver. I'm not going to lie. Wasn't really a big fan of the Detroit Lions draft, especially with Jameer Gibbs taken in the first round. And Jack Campbell, who I thought was a second rounder, didn't think he would have went this early either. But they still did some solid things. I liked the Brian Branch pick, and I liked the Antoine Green pick. But the Detroit Lions have the first D of the video. Sorry, Detroit. The Green Bay Packers had a lot of picks here, as you can see. They just got rid of Aaron Rodgers a few days before the draft. And they got Lucas Van Ness in their first round, someone who I actually really like a lot. But I didn't really think it made sense for the Packers. Uh, they drafted two tight ends, Luke Musgrave and Tucker Craft. And they also took Sean Clifford from Penn State. I think the Green Bay Packers get a C-. minus. I wasn't really impressed with this. Besides, I think they could have done a lot more. After doing a little more thinking, I'm changing this to an F. I actually really didn't like what they did here. Considering all their picks that they had, probably the, one of the most... Out of all the teams in the draft, I just wasn't really impressed. So Green Bay gets an F. My first A-plus of the video belongs to the Houston Texans. They got the second pick and the third pick 
From the Arizona Cardinals, they took C.J. Stroud and Will Anderson, who I thought were the two best players of this draft. But I liked every single move they made, including Nathaniel Dell, Henry Tuoto Odo, and others. I don't think there was one bad pick by the Houston Texans, and I think they got an A+. Plus. They, well, they really deserved this one. The Colts had a bunch of picks this draft. They started by taking Anthony Richardson with the fourth pick, which is something I wasn't really crazy of a fan of. I, I like experience more, and I don't think Anthony Richardson has enough experience to be the fourth overall pick. There were some decent picks. I liked Josh Downs. I liked Adebawara a lot. Will Mallory was decent. Evan Hall was a good pick, and Jalen Jones was all right. Overall, I'll give it a C. I think if Will Levis would have went instead of Anthony Richardson, I thought this could have been an A. The Jacksonville Jaguars also had a lot of picks to work with here. They started out by getting Anton Harrison, which I thought was decent. It could have been better, but all the better linemen went already, so I think they got the best they could. And I liked most of their picks, especially the Tank Bigsby. I liked Yassir Abdullah, Antonio Johnson, Parker Washington. Eric Hallett was even pretty good. So I'm going to give the Jaguars a B plus for their draft. Wasn't really a big fan of the Kansas City Chiefs. Felix Enudike Uzama felt like he went a little earlier than I anticipated. Rasheed Rice was probably their only really good pick. And other than that, Keandre Coburn was all right. I'm going to give the Chiefs a C. It was eh. The Las Vegas Raiders were are up next, and Tyree Wilson was their first pick. And that was probably one of my favorite picks of the first night. Uh, I think he, he really has what it takes to be a star. Michael Mayer was a good pick, and I even liked Christopher Smith in the fifth round. But other than that, it was decent and wasn't crazy. So I'm going to give the Raiders a C+. Plus. The Chargers had a really interesting draft. They took three TCU players, all three of which I really liked. They took Tui Polotu from USC, and they took Day and Henley. And they also took two offensive linemen who are pretty good. Overall, I give the Chargers an A. I really like this draft. The Rams have probably have the most pick by far, but I think they nailed it. Steve Avila, great pick. Brian Young got a D plus on CBS Sports. I think is an A plus. My favorite player in the combine. Overall, very solid players all around. Even Hodges Tomlinson went here. So this is an A+. Plus. The second A+, plus of the video belongs to the Rams. Incredible job. Sorry, Miami. You weren't not involved a lot in the draft this year. Only four picks to go off of. Cam Smith was a great pick. Davon A. Chain was a good pick. Higgins was all right. And Hayes was eh. Overall, I think that cancels out to a respectable C. Considering they had nothing to work with, it wasn't a bad draft. Minnesota Vikings were very consistent with their first four draft picks. They took two USC players, who both I really liked, and two LSU players, which I liked Jay Ward. I also liked the Dwayne McBride pick in the seventh round, and Jaron Hall in the fifth round was pretty good. Jacqueline Roy was all right, but just because of those five picks, I'm giving the Vikings an A-. minus. I thought they really did really well here. The New Orleans Patriots did a great job, especially with their first three picks. Christian Gonzalez fell all the way to 17. The Patriots played that perfectly. Keon White, one of my favorite edge rushers this year, nailed it. Marte Mapu from Sacramento State. If you're a guy from Sacramento State getting drafted in the third round, you're really good. The kicker in the fourth round was not that great, but other than that, everything else was great. They took a punter even, too. Keyshawn Boutte in the sixth round. Yeah, I really like what they did. Another A-plus in the video. Up next, we have the New Orleans Saints, who are a pretty mediocre draft in my opinion they took brian brzee in the first round which is all right fosky and i think fosky would have been better somewhere else but picks i did like was at perry in the sixth round and nick saldaveri in the fourth round so i'll give the saints a respectable c plus the new york giants had a pretty good draft deontay banks solid corner definitely thought he was a first rounder after that combine jalen hyatt john michael schmitz eric gray Traveris owens all of these guys had really good potential, and I think the Giants got an A here. The New York Jets just traded for Aaron Rodgers, and this is their first draft since then. Took Will McDonald first, who I liked the player, but I thought went way too early. But they did make some nice moves like Joe Tipman and both Pitt guys and Carl Warren and Israel Bandicanda. Overall, give the New York Jets a B-. minus. It was pretty good. The Eagles, who obviously got three Georgia players, all really good players. But they did 
make some other good moves like Sidney Brown and Mojo or Jormo. Overall, the Eagles get an A here. I think they would have gotten an A if I made a video last year. So that's back-to-back -back great draft for the Philadelphia Eagles. It seems like everyone's favorite draft performance by a team this year belonged to the Pittsburgh Steelers. And I thought that was okay. I don't think it was the best, but it wasn't a bad draft at all. They took Broderick Jones, pick 14. Joey Porter Jr., which was expected of 17, which is where they were earlier, but they traded up for Jones. Keanu Benton, great pick. Washington, decent. And then the rest of the guys were solid. So I'll give the Steelers an A-, minus. so I think they did great here, but it wasn't the best. San Francisco 49ers are up next, and honestly, I don't really know here. Junior Brown, great pick, but other than that, D. Winters and Ronnie Bell, maybe Jar Jalen Graham, excuse me, is also a good pick. But other than that, I really wasn't a big fan of what they did, so I'd say a C- minus for the 49ers. They had some bright spots, but other than that, especially with the kicker Jake Moody at pick 99, wasn't really a big fan of that at all. The Seattle Seahawks made the first unpredicted pick of the draft by taking Devin Witherspoon. Pick 5, which was a good pick. Jackson Smith and Jigba, 20. And then other notable ones, Zach Charbonnet, Derek Hall, and Mike Morris. And Kenny McIntosh was a good pick, too. Overall, I'll give the Seahawks a B. It was pretty good. Up next, we have the Tampa Bay Buccaneers, who took Kalaji Kansi, which was a great pick. They took him first. Cody Mock, great pick. Yaya Diaby, good pick. And then other ones like Trey Palmer and Jose Ramirez were solid. Overall, I'll give the Bucks a B plus. It's pretty good. I think if they would have drafted a quarterback, it would have been better. But they're clearly relying on Baker Mayfield to do well. Next, we have the Tennessee Titans, who I really liked their first three picks. Peter Skaronsky, Will Levis, and Ty J. Spears. All three, I think, will have immediate impacts right away. Spears is a backup running back to Derrick Henry. Josh Wiley was all right. Jalen Duncan was pretty good. And Colton Dowell was decent so i'll give the titans a b pretty good final team of the video washington commanders who took emmanuel forbes first which was my favorite pick uh, by far emmanuel forbes great corner i think he's better than porter jr maybe close with gonzalez i think witherspoon is better than him but overall i really liked emmanuel forbes other than that i don't really like anything here kj henry was pretty good and i guess ricky stromberg was good too Overall, I'll give the Commanders a C-. minus. Thank you for watching the video. I'm curious to see what your opinions are in the comment section down below. Who had the best draft, who had the worst draft. I'd say the best draft belongs to the Houston Texans. And the worst draft belongs to the Green Bay Packers, in my opinion. But let me know what you think down below. Also, the Rams had a great one, too. Also got an A-plus and the Eagles. So subscribe to the channel for more content. And like the video for more.